Jesus TV Entertainment without bound. Welcome to the Future Awards Africa and yes tonight we're celebrating the young persons who are doing amazing stuff in different uh, fields of life and yes you know that every time young people gather it's all about innovation and all the big things that they have to offer. This is Anila Badmas TV and tonight we'll be talking to nominees of the Future Awards for 2019 as well as every other personality that has come out to root for them and cheer them on to victory. Stay right here, my name is Elisha Moyosoriolua. Eyitayo Gumola, one young chum I know is doing so well for himself and he has been nominated for the education category. Eyitayo, how are you today? I'm well, I'm good. And how does it feel having the Future Awards Africa nominate you in that category where you've been doing so much work for young people? Um, privileged. Uh, I would say that I feel blessed. Um, I feel that it's an exciting time to put forward the education as a category and advocate for more learning preparing people for the future of work. So I really think um, it's exciting. <laughs> when you got the nomination, how did you feel? Good. Good. Like, ex like ex excited. I'm like, oh, this is it. Greater things, you know, to better themselves, to better their communities. Um, you know, just in every, every way possible. So, you know, it's not, I don't believe everyone is bad, you know. I like how passionate you sound when you talk about Nigerian youth and it only shows that you are one person who wants to go out there to change the narrative. Thank you so much for talking to us. Still talking to nominees at the Future Awards Africa. And yes, this is Omazino, who is also pushing bounds in the education sector. And I'm so proud of her right now. Omazino, how are you doing? Oh, I'm very well. I'm very you look so glamorous. <laughs> Thank you. How do you feel to have received your nomination for the Future Afri Awards Africa? At first, I was shocked. Like, oh, people are watching what we do. And, and that was amazing for me. Yeah, that was really amazing. So I was like, OK, this is interesting. Yeah, it was out of nowhere. Yeah. I feel great, but like, you know, I like the fact that I'm here to support the Future Awards because this is, um, this is a very, very, it comes every year and we always look forward to it, basically. You get me? So I'm, I'm glad to be here. It's my first time. April 2nd, 2017, I slept in one hotel at Ibado. It's on Ring Road. I won't call the name of the hotel, but when you enter Ring Road, don't be looking at the right side. It starts with M8. If you see, continue driving. If there's no room, drive back to Lagos. I am 
after reception, if you see wire, I thought you were paper office. I said, Madam, is this hotel? And say, yeah, I said, why the wire plenty? He says the connection of all the room, and this is the junction box. I said, okay, well, how much is your room? She said, seven five, but can you use seven thousand? I said, this one, you're changing price. Is the room good? He said, that's what we do on Sunday. And I asked her, is your intercom working? She said, what am I asking? I said, I want to place order for food. Who will like it? She said, that's the chef. Collect his number. Eh? Yeah. Went to my room, opened door. I wanted to put on air conditioning. Because he said, hey. I said, why are you shouting? He said, don't want the AC. I said, why? He said, why is this small gem? <laughs> when we did on big gem, 12 o'clock, I said, don't worry. I on television, volume was loud, no remote. I said, my brother, where is my remote? He says, at the reception. What is my remote doing at the reception? Say, the fool, I have only one remote, and it's the receptionist. It's whatever the girl wants to watch, the other one wants to watch. As we're talking, this guy increased the volume from downstairs. I asked him, so how do I reduce the volume? So I got off it. I have slept in hotels. The one I can never forget, Uyo, last year, December, Hamatan period, I cross leg, on water heater to bath. After four minutes, we all hit one guy from another room shouting, Jesus! All of us ran and said, Where did it happen? It was later we found out that my water heater was controlling that guy's shower. <laughs> the guy become full barbecue. Um, it's really nice. There's a lot of positive energy, a lot of good auras, a lot of connections being made, so that's always nice. And um, the future is kind of here, so that's, it's always nice to be around that kind of company. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what are you looking forward to tonight? Do you think that this award, you know, when you get in there and they tell you, and the winner is, do you think you would take it home? Uh, I've not really thought about it, to be honest. Uh, you, either way, it's pretty cool. Uh, um, I'm in a company of really great actors, uh, really, really um, quality actors. I've worked with pretty much almost all of them on the list, so I know they're pretty good. Uh, they've, they've owned their craft, so just being their company is pretty nice. But hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna ask you one question. How many best shifts have you? I'm well, saying so you don't know, hate on my dress, please. Yeah? I, I just make an observation. Your zipper starts from here. So, for a bench of this night, you want to hold this stuff. This is how Tony is gonna go. I really pity you. I'm so sorry. I wish you the best of luck. Eh? The way you are shaking me out, it's like you, you like the appearance, baby. Eh? Yes, I like your beard. Thank you so much, baby girl. You look like a low budget R&D. Look at my wife. That I the day I got the mail like I've been nominated, uh, it's for me to do more, and everybody every nominee is a winner. If I don't get it this year, I hope to get it this year. But if I don't get it this year, to be nominated alone you know, means someone is watching me and someone is seeing my good work. And it's you know with great privilege comes great resp responsibility, and uh, it's a responsibility to do more. We wish you all the very best tonight and we hope that you take it home and continue to do Nigerian Africa proud. Thank you very much.
I'm excited. I'm hoping to meet a lot of people, network, connect with people, and I'm hoping to see the people that deserve the accolades get them. As a young music artist, I'm sure you're probably looking forward to being on the nominee list sometime yes. soon. Yes, yes. Very How would that? What would that mean for you? Okay, um, first of all, I'm very inspired by award ceremony, so that's why I attend stuff like this. Because I know that when I come around, I get motivated to want to do more. Yeah, so. The Future Awards Africa Prize for Technology, Chinedu Azogu, 29, Zang Luka Bot, 28, Mohamed Salisu Abdullahi, 28, Timothy Adeleye, 25, Fuferi Koroye, 29. <laughs> The winner of the Future Awards Africa Prize for Technology is Zan Luca Bot. At all time favorites. They're amazing. They're doing incredible work and uh, they deserve all the accolades, all the support and they should keep at it. The world is watching and the world is celebrating them. We're most honoured to stand here tonight as a voice for many. Tonight is about the future. The future of Nigeria and those that will make it truly a land where peace, justice and prosperity shall reign. And as Nigeria's new tribe, our work is to ensure that victims of sexual harassment and rape get justice and also transition from survivors to thrivers, whole and healed. As a community, we have to come together, share our truth, speak honestly about the barriers that are within our community. We will be presenting the Future Awards Africa Prize for Advocacy. The winner is Hamza Lawal. <laughs> and specializes in practical issues related with climate change, open data, advocacy campaigns, and development policies as it affects rural and deprived grassroots communities. A round of applause once again for Hamza Lawal. I feel great. Um, I always enjoy this platform. I feel like it's a platform to celebrate young African minds, young you know Nigerian minds, people who are actually doing stuff, no matter how little. So yeah. And do you have anyone you're rooting for tonight? I'm actually I'm rooting for Jumebi Iyama. That's the CEO of Andrea Iyama. Yeah, I know there are amazing people in her category, but then she's an amazing person as well, and I'm rooting for her. The Future Awards Critical Prize for Media Peace ET. 24, Adiri Edewa. 28, Paul Alassini. 27, Tosin Olasengi. 31, Samuel Ajiboli. 28. And the winner is... Samuel Ajiboli! A round of applause for Samuel Ajiboli once again. We've all done extremely well, and the winner is... Aditola Nwemi. Assistant Chief Negotiator, Nigerian Office for Trade Negotiations. A round of applause for Aditola Nwemi once again. I would say that we are learning and I would say that we are putting to use what we have learned. You know, some, some systems might have failed us, but we are going out of our way to learn new things. And, you know, it's really helpful. We have a lot of people that are learning photography, makeup, fashion designing online. 
I mean, people are going out of their way to learn, and that alone inspires me as a person. So yeah, we're good. And I'm here tonight to present the Future Award for the best African prize in sports. The nominees. That is a tough one, but the winner is Israel at this time. Thank you, everybody. Congratulations, Israel. A round of applause for... You know, everybody's doing a great job. When you say the collective youth, you know, of our country uh, who are spearheading, you know, big moves across different sectors, these are the guys, you know, amongst us as well, you know. So um, we're all playing our part and it's time to celebrate, you know, and appreciate and, you know, uplift, you know, um, all of them, you know. So nominees plus winners, congratulations. Well, we're here to present the future of our prize for the arts, visual and applied. And the winner is. Ken Wadiogu. Ken. Primary centered around hyper realism and contemporary art. A round of applause once again for Ken. I think Nigerian youths are not lazy. We have a lot of great ideas. Maybe the system is just a problem, but we have a lot of great ideas. And these awards are a way to celebrate and also encourage youth to actually keep doing great things because they have ideas. They want to change the world. It's very obvious. The energy is there. So these, this award is very, or this, this, this celebratory award is actually very, very instrumental in encouraging the youth out there to step up to the mantle and do great things. Our work is simple and beautiful. We're here to present the Future Awards Africa Prize for Education. And the winner is... Emotions still running right here at the Future Awards and yes we must say big congratulations to the winners and those who were nominated but did not win. This is a testament that you're doing something right so keep up with it and who knows you might just be on the world stage before you know it. Lagos, Nigeria, I hope you had fun tonight as we brought to you the Future Awards live from the Federal Palace Hotel, Victoria Island. This is Anila Badmos TV. Till next time, stay tuned. I am Elisha Moyasura Lua. Enola Badmos TV Entertainment without bounds.